all right guys let's continue as you can see um our header okay the items are pushed almost to the edges so it looks like to me we need some padding somewhere here okay as you know based on our discussions um here on figma uh we are not going to some sort of randomly put um some values when it comes to padding because we need to be consistent remember this needs to be um some sort of a production ready um application and also i am helping you to become some sort of a better and an efficient developer so we are not going to put some random values here okay remember we already have some values that we put here and we said we are going to use these values so now let's implement that okay so let's continue with our theme okay so let's just go to our um, global css okay um so what we want to do now uh we want to convert these into separate styles okay for instance we've got comp radius we need to convert these into uh styles okay so how are we going to do that for instance we can put a dot here um obviously now these don't conform to this naming convention okay um this doesn't conform to this naming convention how am i going to do that i think we will have to to compromise okay i think we will have to compromise okay so let's just type here uh comp radius okay okay comp radius uh i think okay we can underscore this okay comp radius and then let's type here at apply okay at apply and then let's type here border or rounded okay let's say uh rounded okay rounded and then we can put an arbitrary value there for now it's just 10 pixel uh, remember this is something that we said we are going to change uh, rounded 10 pixel i think this is how we are going to put 10 pixel so as you can see guys okay we are converting these into some sort of uh highly reusable uh utility classes okay so let's continue so we've got here um list mobile gap and other things so for now guys let's just um what can i say configure what we are going to use okay so we want page x okay page x okay obviously we are going to do this for mobile and everything okay uh let's see uh secondary x mobile pairing uh secondary secondary okay and then let's see oh okay now i see so let's first uh work with this okay let me just remove all of these okay in fact here we only want those names okay so we've called this uh page x padding okay so with page x padding we are going to have uh some mobile we are going to have um what can i say we are going to have mobile we are going to have a tablet i don't think that will serve us very well okay we need to some sort of make some adjustment check here guys page okay uh my apologies this needs to be a capital letter page underscore x underscore padding okay check here guys so what we are going to do we're just going to put everything in one place so we are going to type here at apply okay uh at apply at apply okay at apply and then what we want to do we are going to say um on mobile uh padding in fact this is px okay on mobile px is going to be let's say oh my apologies about this px is going to be um <coughs> apologize about that let's say 20 pixel let's say okay and then on sm okay on sm uh px is going to be uh px let's say it's going to be somewhat uh 90 or let's say 100 pixels okay 100 pixels and then on lg on lg uh on lg okay as you can see now this is becoming easier we don't have a lot of variables okay 
which has have uh, tailwind classes instead on lg we want the px okay we want the px to be 120 uh, this is 100 let's make it 160 okay uh, remember we can still change these let's make this 160 pixel okay and that is it for now okay so this means that um, we've got page x okay a uh, padding which is the horizontal padding and here is it and it's responsive okay i'm happy with this so we can take this uh class and apply it on our header okay i think so where is our header here is our header so let's just try this maybe it will work let's have some sort of a convention okay where we always start with our own custom styles okay whenever we style let's make sure that we start with these uh, all caps lock uh, classes and that's it um and let's try to be consistent on that okay maybe that will help us okay my apologies about this okay so now let's go back to to the to the application and see um px 120 pixel is a custom class make sure it is defined within the add layer okay uh which one are you talking about px 20 pixel class does not exist all right let's see let's see let's see let's see what do i want to do maybe obviously i might have made a mistake there okay let's see let's see page x this is the problem go back here okay what is the problem with this yes there is a problem with this i didn't close this okay let's check here it says been closed okay now we've got two here okay i can see my mistake my apologies about that so let's save and see so suppose now the padding um suppose the padding is applying okay suppose now the padding is applying accordingly it looks like this is still on the edge and i really don't understand so what i'm going to do let me just type bg just to see if these are applying let's see okay as you can see guys these are applying let's see uh, px is going to be 20 pixels um on sm is going to be 100 pixels on lg px it's going to be 160 pixels okay and why it looks like there is nothing going on in terms of px okay not a problem um let's say on lg let's start here maybe there might be something that i did wrong let's see px okay let's say px-10 let's see is it going to apply uh ps-10 it extend it looks like nothing applies what if maybe let's say i force that okay let's see okay this is not what i have to force i have to force the px thing with important let's see is there going to be any change okay not really okay okay now it applies oh okay it might happen it might happen i am not within the range that i think i am in now i understand what's going on uh first of all let's go back and click undo 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 okay on lg is going to be 160 let's save and see okay doesn't really work let's force and see okay is it going to work all right so there is a problem with how i do things here is that the case mm. let's just test it for the last time without even reinforcing let's just put 12. okay as you can see guys uh this one works now my question is why it doesn't want to allow my apologies are uh, arbitrary values just like this one okay let's quickly uh debug that okay so what i'm going to do px okay i'm going to put this okay and then i'm going to let me use this instead uh type 160 pixel okay save and see okay obviously nothing happens let's just try to reinforce and see 
Okay, let's see what comes out of this uh, SM, LG. What comes out of this uh, padding left, 160 pixels, padding right, 160 pixels. Okay, it looks like to me, this is exactly what we want to do, but it doesn't work. Maybe for now, uh, for the sake of uh, saving time, okay? Um, since this is some sort of a small thing, let's just stick to how Tailwind is for now, okay? Because I don't want us to waste more time on things that I know for sure. I trust that these are the things that you can solve. Believe me, these are minor tasks. You can even find your own way to, to bypass these. So let's just put 24 here, guys, okay? Just for the sake of progression, okay? So as you can see on LG, this is 24. I'm happy with it. So let's see, Um, it's 24. And then on SM, uh, on SM, let's make this um, 10. Okay, on SM, let's just make it 10. Okay, let's see if that's going to happen. My apologies about this. As you can see, guys, now it has changed. And then on mobile, um, on smaller devices, let's say it's going to be, that was 10. Can we make it 5 and see? As you can see, guys. So I'm happy with this, okay? So meaning that now this page X works perfect, okay? This page X works perfect. So let's just go to um, our UI and see what else do we want to do, okay? So it looks like to me now we need to create our own landing page. We are going to start by adding an image so we are done um for this video see you on the next one thank you so much for making it up to this far